My earliest memory of Dave is walking into a college player um, board meeting as a guest, because this was this theater thing, and this really cute guy walked by. He was older, and, and, uh, and I was like, who is that? And they were like, oh, that's Dave. He's the technical director. Him making me go up the ladder in tech class. He had to climb up this 25,000 foot tall ladder, go to the top, hang a light, and come down the other side, and if you didn't do it, you didn't pass tech. That is my earliest memory of Dave, and I did. So my first memory of Dave is when I first came to USF and uh, joined the College Players, which was 1990. And the first show I was ever in was The Odd Couple. And I'll never forget, I was 18 years old and I was auditioning for my first show and I played Manolo. And I remember meeting Dave and his office was like full of photos, super dirty, more books than I had ever seen. And I just remember like that was my introduction to the college players and like sitting in that green room on this tattered couch which ended up being home for basically four years. My earliest memory of Dave is his, him walking um, across the stage with a big belt, giant keys, all sorts of things hanging off his waist and him directing everyone to build the set for Oklahoma. Well, Dave tells me that my first memory was when I was walking downstairs at uh, Gill Theater just to kind of take a look around as sort of a displaced alumni, and I see this, uh, this hippie-looking dude, and I'm like, who the hell is he? He was building a set at, uh, in the College Players Theater in the other building that's now torn down, and I picked up tools and started helping him. My first substantial memory of Dave was um, when I started um, doing spot, working Spotlight for Godspell, and he showed me how to run the really old um, spotlights up in the balcony, and then we were doing a show, and I was moving my spotlight, and it detached from its stand, and I was almost gonna fly over the edge until I felt an arm on the back of my shoulder, and it was Dave pulling me back from falling off the balcony, and I almost probably would have died. Well, I was going to say my fond memory was him directing Jock Brell, and um, I would always have a bottle of, that was back in the old days, where you could have a bottle of wine on top of the piano and drink it during the show. That doesn't happen anymore. You cannot do that. So, so I would have a bottle of red wine on top of the piano, and by the end of the show, it would be empty. Earliest memory of Dave. Um, I came to college players late in my college career, like junior year, and I was really active in um, the performing arts department, and so I had always heard Dave's name, but he was kind of an enigma, like I never had a chance to sit down with him or talk to him. And the first memory I have, I was just having a class, like an EDO 40 and I was like walking by and he was just kind of like haunting his office and just like circulating around. And I remember even then the presence he had and the respect he had amongst the students and faculty. And so just him as the idea and then finally seeing him in the halls was kind of my first experience of Dave. He showed up at my band practice. We were auditioning a new bass player. And uh, he showed up and I go, this guy is really cool. I hope that he's gonna work out. I think I looked in the theater and I thought, who's that old guy with the long hair, scraggly, kind of running around the theater? What is he doing here? Later I figured out what he was doing here. And uh, it turns out that he was the technical director of Gill Theater and then was doing a lot of stuff with college players. We knew a lot of the same people. And um, I ended up hanging out a, a lot longer than I expected and, uh, and, I, and I met Dave. And, and that's, that's how we met. And, uh, to tell you the truth, when we reconnected several years later as a Sausalito residents and fellow musicians, he had to remind me of that experience. And then when he did remind me and it finally clicked, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, that's, that was the beginning of uh, what I consider a, a very dear and uh, treasured friendship. Dave Pangaro, my first memory of Dave was being invited into the theater, being a freshman, coming in, knowing no one, Walking in, Dave was there, welcomed me. He was the first person I ever met at USF College Players. Um, I felt, I was so nervous, but he really made me feel good. And, and, and then I had a great performance. And ever since then, I have just, I have just always loved Dave. His, um, 
his his true genuine love and care for people and what he does it's been an inspiration to me too and so I was like oh my gosh he looked so cool he was just this cool guy walking by and um, and then I got to meet him and he was the most awesome human being he was a, a friend and a mentor and a guide and cared authentically about all of us in our own way just really wanted to help people I I'm so grateful that I was able to see him through the years um, because he truly is a special human being and there's not a lot like him. So Dave, I just want to tell you that you were instrumental in my growing up and shaping who I am. You're one of the reasons I went to grad school for fine arts instead of getting a degree in psychology, which my family probably would have preferred. But um, the skills that you taught me and that you, ins you instilled in all of the college players is really invaluable and it's something that I'm never going to forget. Skills that you carry through no matter what your profession is now and I wish you all the best. I would like to say to Dave thank you for always being the advocate and now the historian and archivist for the college players. You made such a difference to people and uh, I think folks are very appreciative. Uh, I was very very happy that you uh, came to USF and that it, we were there, that I was there in the beginning, and you've lasted for what, some 30 years, and I wish you well in the next chapter. David, you made a huge difference in my life. I know I didn't end up in theater, uh, but I truly, honestly use everything I learned in theater. I use it, um, when I did stage management, I learned how to plan schedules and do logistics and execute things on time and within a budget. I. Um, I learned how to work with other people, I learned how to do public speaking, and I do that pretty much every day in my own life. I raise money for organizations and I work in business and really theater, not theater, you've made a huge difference in my life teaching me so much and I'm so grateful and I welcome, I hope you have a fantastic retirement. That I really miss Dave and that Dave was really important for my um, development here six years ago and that I really wish they'd rename the theater after him because he, this theater couldn't have run without him over the last 40, 50 years, how long it was exactly. Dave, you have faithfully continued to dedicate your life to students. Your legacy and the ripple effect is going to last years into the future and continue um, limitless. And so I hope that you take care of yourself and you enjoy your life. You have deserved it, you have earned it, and just know that there's a lot of love always surrounding you. Don't go, <laughs> don't go, but if, since you're going, have, have a great retirement and I'm so envious, I cannot tell you. I am so envious of you. Um, yeah, we're going to miss you so much. I mean, it's, I, I'm terrified of what's going to be without you. So, yeah, yeah. Anyway, love you, Dave. And, and um, it's been great knowing you for however many years it's been, and it's been a long time. <laughs> and now you no longer need to behave. Dave, don't leave. Stay here. I don't want our band to break up. But I know that this is an exciting opportunity for you to move up, you know, to Humboldt County and to pursue new things, but I hope we'll always be able to play music together. Have a great time. Enjoy yourself. Thanks for teaching us the life skills that we actually like really needed to, you know, take away from college. It was like the, the most important life skills we got from college. I think I learned the most from, yeah, college yeah. players. Yeah. It was awesome. So have a great time. Congrats, man. I mean, you've been on this grind for so long and contributing so much with your leadership, your passion, and your generosity. And it's just good to see all that hard work paying off. We appreciate it so much. Um, you touched so many lives, and uh, I'm just happy for you to have that chance to unwind a little bit and take a step back and enjoy. Enjoy your life, man. Enjoy it. Moving on from CP and Prez Theater and just doing your thing. I'm really happy for you, and congratulations. I don't know because I don't plan to lose connect a connection with Dave. I think that we've been disconnected for a long time I, with a lot of contact, but he's always been there and I've always been there and 
um, we can reach out to each other whenever we want. And I hope that that still continues because uh, I believe that Dave is a lifelong person in my life and maybe after he retires, we'll have more contact. Dave, enjoy your retirement. It's like a, it's gonna be a, a second coming for you and uh, I just hope you have a lot of fun and, and just have a, have, a, have a great time. First of all, thank you for always being there for me and being so supportive. Someone I could always lean on in a, you know, colle collegial way. And um, you're not going to retire. You're just going to have a great time, and you're going to do a whole lot of stuff, and you're just going to be as awesome as you always have been. Uh, Dave, you have meant so much to my development and my growth, and I just want to tell you that what you've done, what you did, because it made a huge difference, and it made my college life enjoyable and safe. And I just want to thank you, and you're an amazing guy. And congratulations on everything you've done and the new life ahead of you. All right, my man. Love you.